USS Montana, the US Navy's newest attack submarine, successfully completed its initial sea trials operating off the Virginia coast last week. The sea trials included submerging for the first time. The sub also conducted high-speed maneuvers while on the surface and submerged. Newport News shipbuilding personnel will continue the testing program. Jason Ward, Newport News Shipbuilding Vice President of Virginia-class submarine construction, said, Taking the ship to sea for the first time is a huge milestone for everyone involved. The ship was successfully brought to life. He added the performance of Montana and its crew was exceptional. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how potent is the USS Montana Block 4 Virginia-class submarine. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The primary purpose of USS Montana is to take out enemy surface combatants and submarines and the secondary task is to execute land attack missions. Construction of Montana began in 2015. The boat is the 21st Virginia-class submarine built as part of the teaming partnership of Newport News Shipbuilding and General Dynamics Electric Boats Yard in Connecticut. Montana was christened in September 2020. The shipyard will deliver it to the U.S. Navy later this year. It has a length of 115 meters. To give viewers a perspective, its length is slightly greater than that of a football field. It displaces around 7,900 tons. USS Montana, like all other Block 4 subs, is acknowledged to be able to move to depths of 240 meters or 800 feet, but allegedly capable of going down to 490 meters or 1,600 feet. A single S9G reactor that produces around 30 megawatts powers Montana. The S9G reactor is designed to operate for 33 years without refueling. So USS Montana has a practically unlimited range, limited only by food supplies and maintenance requirements. The reactor produces enough power to propel Montana over 25 knots, that's 46 kilometers per hour or 29 miles per hour, though the actual numbers may be significantly higher. The Virginia class is the first to use photonic sensors instead of a traditional periscope. The class is equipped with high-resolution cameras along with light intensification and infrared sensors as well as an infrared laser rangefinder. Block 4 variants of Virginia class have redesigned elements and feature several types of sonar arrays. One, it incorporates a large aperture bow LAB, water backed array, which replaces the traditional air backed spherical array. This is the main sonar and one of the most powerful sonars mounted in any of the submarines in the world. 2. Two high-frequency active sonars mounted in the sail and bow. These supplement the main sonar array, improving anti-submarine warfare performance. 3. A fiber-optic sonar array consisting of three flat panels is present on either side of the hull. 4. 
For coverage above and behind the submarine, a high-frequency sonar is mounted on both sides of the submarine's sail. USS Montana is also equipped with a low-frequency towed sonar array and a high-frequency towed sonar array. USS Montana will be deadly, as it is packed with different kinds of weapons to knock out varied targets. 1. Two large diameter Virginia payload tubes, each capable of launching six Tomahawk cruise missiles. Tomahawk is a long-range, all-weather cruise missile that is used for land-based attacks. It has a long range of 1,200 to 2,500 kilometers, enabling them to be launched from far off. 2. Four 533-millimeter torpedo tubes for the Mark 48 torpedo. There is a capacity to carry up to 26 Mark 48 torpedoes in the weapons chamber. These torpedoes have a range in excess of 50 kilometers or 31 miles and can be used to take out enemy submarines and surface vessels. 3. Like all Virginia classes, USS Montana can also lay different types of mines, including the Mark 60 Captor encapsulated torpedo mines. 4. An integral lockout lock in chamber is incorporated into the hull for special operations. The chamber can host a mini submarine, such as Northrop Grumman's Advanced Seals Delivery System, that can be used to transport special warfare forces, such as Navy SEAL teams. The main rivals of the US, Russia, and China are going all out when it comes to constructing new subs. Russia plans to build a total of eight. Yes and M class submarines, and the newest six submarines of Kilo class are also a significant evolution. Russia is also building the Boreai class, which will be Russia's new generation of ballistic missile submarines. Chinese Navy has been expanding rapidly, and it is developing a wide range of conventional as well as nuclear powered submarines. So, the U.S. Navy cannot afford to take things lightly as it could two decades ago. USS Montana, being a multi-mission vessel, will play a crucial role in the coming days, and its addition to the U.S. Navy fleet, with its powerful set of armaments, will act as a counter to enemies. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.